If you're looking for cheap and reliable FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Coins, visit MMOGA, link in the description. Hello guys and welcome to episode 5 of my Napoli career mode. How are you doing? Hope you're doing great. And let's get into the video now. So, last episode, we got our first defeat. If you haven't seen that, go and look at it now if you want. That was a good episode. And, well, the last video I did was Challenge FIFA, so go and check out that series as well. But now we're back to the career mode, and we're going to start off with a Champions League match. And it's away from home, which makes it even more challenging. This one is against Basel. I think they're from Switzerland, I believe. Put down in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think they probably dominate in the Swiss League. But anyway, let's get into this match away from home against Basel. Okay, so here we are in the Champions Cup, aka the Champions League, at Stadion Europa. This is Basel's lineup. They've got Sushi, Cher, Shaka. Oh no, they haven't got Shaka. They've got Dai, they've got Lenz, Diaz, Co. Delgado Gashi, we've got to look out for him. But yeah, are they going to show my lineup as well? Yep, here it comes. So I've decided to. I haven't made too many changes. So we've got Gulam, Diego Alves, Zuma, Kulibali, Zuniga, Mikel Inla, Insignia, Hamsik, Perez, and up top we've got Higuain. So let's see how we do in this match. Here's Insignia. We've got a good chance here. Get over the top to Higuain. Yes, what a start. That is a great goal from G Gonzalo Higuain. An assist for Insignia and we are 1-0 up within 6 minutes. That is great. If we carry on the match like that, then we're easily going to win. Right, so we're playing up the right side for the first time today. How is it going to go? We've got Perez on the ball. Good cross, Hamshik. 2 0. It's too easy. Hamshik was unmarked. Little weak volley, but still crept into the corner, and we're 2 0 up inside quarter of an hour. That is so easy. And it's another assist from our wingers. Are they going to let us skip the celebrations? Thank you. What a cross. Hamsik unmarked and a little just dinky volley into the corner. 2 0. Come on, Basel have got their, one of their first attacks of the game. Can they score from it? They just unnecessarily pass it to him. Oh, good save from Diego Alves. Now, can we get a counter attack quickly? No. But hang on, we still got it here. Insignia. Come on, please. Come on. Here's Delgado. Basel putting a little bit more press pressure on now. Good tackle from Inla. Go on, Higuain. What a pass. Oh. Just intercepted. Oh no. Here's Diaz. Oh, it's another fabulous save from Diego Alves. That is why I bought into the club. Look at that. Brilliant reflexes and a decent shot as well. But just got to defend this corner. Take it easy. Oh, yes. I thought Gashi, I think it was, was going to get his head to that. But Diego Alves, brave goalkeeping. Well, it's a bad tackle on Insigne there. That should be at least a yellow card. And it is. He's got a free kick now. Short to Mikel. Here's Insignia, probably one of our best players in the match so far. To Goulam, hasn't got forward too much. Here is Insignia. He's gone alone. Bang! 3-0. And the game might be over already fabulous individual goal from Insignia there what a fish probably sounds like I'm not getting too excited I have just woken up plus 
plus we've already scored three goals in the first half and it looks like it's game over for Basel. What a finish that is. Given away. Here's Hamsik. Can he punish? Kind side. Oh, tackled. So it's nearly half time now. And that should be it. We've just got to throw in to end it. Do it short to Inla. Mikel. Insignia. Allowed to run. No marker whatsoever. Oh, great tackle though there. It had to be because that player was on a yellow card, but that is half time. And it's 3 0. And because of that, I'm going to have to substitute some players because that is absolutely. They are absolutely knackered because of that performance. So, Mertens and Desmali are coming on. Let's see if we can score another three goals in the second. I doubt not. Gulen working hard. I'm not getting the ball after it. But Insignia does because he obviously would. And just manages to keep it. But a poor pass from Zuma. Oh, it's another good save from Diego Alves. And just cleared in the nick of time by Perez. Basel pressure. His die. To CO. Another save from Diego Alves. He's been quiet all match, but he's had to make four saves from Basel's four shots. And he's made all of them, which was fabulous. So he might be up there with man of the match along with Insignia at the moment he's getting so tired of Barbo's coming on and that's all my substitutions for the game there's the replay of the bad tackle anyway back to the game <laughs> here's Insignia and this is the advantage far corner good save Oh, and the follow-up was put in by Higuain, but it was offside. I'm not too bothered because his 4-0, he scored his goal. No, it's 3-0, it would have been 4-0. But Higuain scored, and everything's happy. We're all happy, really. Insignia getting a decent save out of their goalkeeper as well. But his Insignia again. He's a troublemaker all match. Shoot. Oh, another great save from their goalkeeper. Insignia nearly getting his second goal. He's got an assist as well. It's a successful match for him. The ball's come out here to Hamsik. Days Marley's going to hit here. And it's well wide. But now it's nearly the end of the match. It's been a fairly exciting game. But not quite as exciting because I've dominated it as it would be if it was like really tight. But anyway, this is the end of the match. Hoping for a clean sheet. Here's extra five minutes for Basel to get a goal. To at least get a consolation one. But it doesn't look like they will. Because there's Diego Alves who's in great form in this match. And there's my defence who they can't break very often. Let's just see if we can survive this attack here. Insignia's not most likely... <laughs> To win that header run. Whoa. I think that was a save again. I think it deflected off my man. And Alves tipped it around. No, it was a good block from Goulam actually. So now they've got a corner to round up the game. Last attack I expect. If we can just get this out, we don't want Insignia on the ball. And that's why, because the header just dashing wide off the post. But that is the game. 3-0 away from home. That's a fabulous result. And let's just look at man of the match quickly. And as expected, Insignia coming first. And then not far behind him, Diego Alves and Gorlum. And the other team, nah, they weren't playing good. But anyway, 3 0 what a result. Let's advance into the season. Okay, so now we have a home game against Torino, who I believe are not very good. Let's just check. 
No, 20th. It's easily said that we're going to simulate this home gap match against them. Should be an easy win. They'll probably score a goal just because they normally do. Yep, yeah, 2-1. Mikel getting a red card, which is annoying. Gorlum getting an injury. I hope it's not too bad because it's not the ambulance. It's just the blaster. And Hamshik getting a double and Lorondo getting a goal for them. 2-1. And still just getting the three points in that match. So, sim on to the season, guys. Taki, you want me to be the manager? Nope. Who do? Oh, there's a lot of players on international duty, aren't there? Anyway, I've just got to... Simulate on through the season. Oh, and we've got another match in the Champions League. Two in one episode. That's great for you guys. This time it is at home. We will play it. Let's see how we do against Monaco. Okay, guys, so just before I start this match, I'll say the players that have been upgraded by at least one. Hamsik has, Kalyon has, I think Mertens has, yep. Insigne has finally gone up to 80, which is great, probably just because of the last match. Gorlum, I think he started on 74. Zuma hasn't gone up. Neither has Koulibaly. Mesto hasn't, because I hardly use him. I will be using him today, though. And Alves has gone up by one. On the bench, Mikel's gone up by one, and Perez has gone up by one. So let's get into this home match against Monaco. So we are at home, guys, at Stadium Olympic, Napoli's home ground. And you've already seen my team lineup, so you don't need to show you the intro of the match. Monaco, just in red and white. I'm using that alternate kit, although their home kit is red and white. I just found this one nicer to look at. I know that's just... Sounds really stupid, but anyway, let's get on to the match. And they've already got an attack, but it's dealt with by Mesto. Oh, nice run from Kalyon. Think shot. Finesse that. Oh, whenever I do it from there with the left foot, it never goes in. I don't understand why. It's probably closer than Ibarbo's one in the earlier match, but still, we need to score. Finesse shots. Insignia, run mate, run, oh yes, great play, finesse shot, oh, fabulous save as well, but that's what Insignia's doing at the moment, in this episode he's been on fire, short to Higuain, to Koulibaly, can you pass it to anyone, no, and Monaco have dealt with it, and cleared it, over the top to Higuain, get that please, yes he's got the advantage of it, and a smashing goal from Higuain to get us 1-0 up, a little front somersault, hashtag Bamian celebration, and what is their goalkeeper doing there, it's almost straight at him but the goalkeeper's moved in the wrong direction, almost as he wants Higuain to score, and it's 1-0. So it's nearly half time, we've got to throw in a good position. If we get the cross in, when that. Yes! Oh! Good save by Stelkenberg. So, as I was saying, it's nearly half time, and it's still 1 0 to me. And Insignia's won a header. How? Stelkenberg. There's Marley. Oh, yeah, as I've said in the Challenge FIFA episode that I've just put up yesterday um please be sure to check out Hazza Mac's channel his channel is called Hazza Mac obviously um he makes free videos he's a great friend and yeah please subscribe to him our channel is maybe linking to do a career mode thing soon I'm not sure we'll have to see just keep your eyes peeled for that and yeah he supports my channel I'll support his simple as that so it is half time now and it's 1-0 to me. We're bringing on... No, we don't want to bring Keanu. We want to bring on Inla. There we go. Let's get back into the match. Good cut inside from Insignia. Good shot. Parried. It should be 2-0. Oh, <coughs> what a tackle from Kurgzawa, I think it is. Something like that. Kalyon, it was going to be a tap-in, 
but a challenge from behind was a good one. He had to win the ball, and it was just dealt with by Stelgenberg. The original shot came from Insignia. What a surprise. Eh, Inla, the substitute, losing the ball to Triore. Insignia. Nice little turn there. And a burst of pace now. So fast. So small yet so fast. Sweaty. And 2 0. It's a tap in for Hamsit. And that might be the game again. And if we carry on playing like this, it looks like we will be getting through to the knockout stages of the Champions League Cup. Yet, I know I keep saying this, but Insigne is so beast at the moment. Another assist for him, and it's a neat little tucked in finish into the corner by Hamsik, which makes it 2 0. Monaco hardly had a shot, but Hamsik winning the ball again. Ah, I tried to pass it, but it was tackled. So 2-0, there isn't a way back into the game now for Monaco. Unless they randomly come up with two magical goals. Ain't gonna happen with my defence. Oh. Oh. I take back what I just said. There may be a way back into the game now. What a header that is. And what an assist. I don't know why he's celebrating like that. They've still got to score another goal. Let's go and park the bus now. I'm not I'm not conceding. I'm not taking any risks. Losing these three points now. The Guzman, anyone out wide? No, but he can go there. He's not very good at shooting, but let's shoot. Oh, he's hit the post so close. Oh, so close to his first goal. Unless he's got one in a simulated match that I can't remember. I don't think so. Inla. No, don't lose the ball there. They're just going to do loads of lob balls and just fail because that's what happens. No, please. Now, if they score in this passage of play, I'll kind of be annoyed because that's just all because of the Guzman not scoring. Come on, go to the corner flag. No, don't. Let's do, don't. Hold up play. Perez, score that please. Oh, the ginger black defender. Oh, poop, poop, poop. His Kurzawa, Kurzawa, something like that. I don't really care how to say that. Left back's name. Quick. No. Out in the Clear it, please. Clear it. No. Oh, what the hell? No. How have I done that? That is just awful, shocking defending. All out attack. That's their like two shots on target the whole match they've scored from. Oh my god, we have just dropped two po points just because of sloppy defending. No, that is absolutely shocking. No, I can't see how annoyed I am at that. Oh, I guess we're going to have to move on. It's not a defeat, but it's a home game. Belgium, although they have Hazard, I'm not doing that. Anyway, let's simulate this home match against Verona just to round up the episode. Mm. Bang, 2-1 again. Gulen probably getting injured, which is not good at all. Nene scoring a penalty for them, but two goals for Higuain, making it 2-1. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of my Napoli career mode. If you did, please finger blast that like button, leave a like, subscribe, and comment if you would like to. And I'll see you in episode 6 where we start off the episode with an away game against Atlanta. Bye!